guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I am bringing you guys episode number 5 of Hut Roulette. And in the last one, we ended off with a 3 game win streak, and we're trying to bring it up to a 4th and 5th one this episode. So, before I start up this video, I just want to introduce a new rule into Hut Roulette, and that's basically opening up more packs. So, for every 3 game win streak right now, I'm opening up one 15k pack, and that's the same if I get a 6 game win streak or a 9 game win streak, I'm just opening up one pack, but I'm thinking... For every 6 game win streak, I should be able to open up 2 15k packs. For a 9 game win streak, I should be able to open up 3 15k packs. So every multiple of 3, I can open up the amount of packs depending on that number. So uh, it will help incentivize us winning more games and getting bigger win streaks. Having said all that, we're going to be jumping into our first game. We're right now in Division 8, just 2 points away from advancing to Division 7. So we're going to be facing some harder opponents very soon. I'll show you guys my team that I'm rocking with. A lot of new faces in this team. So Carl Haglin, Alexander Barkov, and Alexander Radulov on that first line. Braden Shen, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Boone Jenner on the second. Michael Froelich, Peter Holland, and Jason Plumville on the third. And Yannick Hansen, Melker Carlson, and Sean Mathias on the fourth line. Going out to the defense, we got Mike Green. Hampus Lindholm, Andre Markov, Zach Vigosian, Cody Franzen, and Johnny Orduya. And in their goaltender spots, we still have Hutchinson and Nett, as well as Montoya. So that's how our starting roster is looking like going to our first game at Hot Roulette. Let's get right into it. I'll meet you guys in the game. All right, here we go, guys. So we're first facing our first opponent. He's got Zabinijad, Zuccarello. And uh, I couldn't see who was on his left wing, but I know he does have Brent Burns. So we're going to be facing a pretty tough opponent in terms of, uh, oh, he's got a penalty already in terms of his uh, team. But let's get started. Let's see what we can do. Oh, just cut right in. Oh, man, nice little play. Get a shot net. There is a goal. Uh, number 67, Fro Froelich. Yep, that's Froelich. Nice little snipe by him beating his goalie right there. And we make it one to nothing. Oh, what a sauce to Hansen. Deco Burns. Oh, backhanded. Oh, man. Just missing the short side there. All right. That is going to be the end of the first period. And so far, after that goal, we haven't gotten too many chances. 11 to 2 in shots, though. Four minutes time on attack to one minute and 11 seconds. So we just need to capitalize on our opportunities here. Try to get that next insurance marker. Oh, come on. Right around him. Slap it. There it is. Lindholm with another goal. That's two goals in two games for him. He's been lighting it up with those point shots. Just kind of weaving his way in. And, uh, oh, we have a rage quit. Look at that. That's been a quick little game there. We win 2-0. 12-2 to in shots. 4 minutes time on attack to 1 minute 11 seconds. So, we'll go ahead, buy our next player. And we're now on a 4 game win streak. So that is a pretty big win for us. Uh, we just won the Division 8 title and we got a nice little 750 coin bonus. So we ended up getting about 2,000 coins for that game. And we're now sitting at 10,568 coins for our next pickup of Hot Roulette. So we're going to be choosing the 12th player here. Let's see if we can get something good, guys. Alright, so it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I just double-checked. We do have Shane Prince already on our team. So I'm pretty much going to go onto the next page and start counting 12 again. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. James Neal, the real deal. I mean, Shane Prince we already have on our team. I think he was on our first episode of Hot Roulette. And we can't pick up the same player. So our rule is we go to the second page and pick up the 12th player from there. So James Neal is the player we're going to be picking up. So let's go ahead, buy him out, see where he fits in. All right, guys. So James Neal, a pretty nice pickup heading into Division 7. He cost me a pretty big chunk of my coins, 5,200 coins. And you're pretty much paying for a shooting accuracy right here. I'll go quickly to his stats right now and give you guys a rundown of how it's looking. But 88 in slap shot accuracy, 90 in slap shot power, 88 in wrist shot accuracy, and 90 in wrist shot power. So we definitely want to shoot the puck with James Neal. We hopefully can get some nice little goals with him in his first game of his debut here. So let's get into the second game of Hot Roulette. I'll meet you guys in there. 
All right, here we go, guys. So this is a pretty big game for us. If we can get this win, we can put that rarity in the marketplace to rare. So we really want to get this win. Oh, James Neal with the puck. Just ring it around for right now. Let's keep it safe. Let's get this game going. Oh, Braden Chen, nice. Back around. Back to the point. Come on. Oh, just walk in, walk in. Shoot it. Oh, Nugent Hopkins just doing that straight line deke. Couldn't get by Luongo, though. Oh, no. He does the tie-up play on me. I should have put on the face-offs too aggressive. And Oshi with a nice shot, making it one to nothing. I think this is definitely the first time in the series where I'm down one goal in the first period. So, we got to get that goal back. Oh, but Peter Holland comes right back and answers that goal. Nice little backhand, forehand action, and we make it one to one. Tucking him by Luongo there, so nice. Two minutes and 22 seconds left. That's a pretty nice goal to get. All right, guys, so that is the end of the first period, and it's definitely proving to be a lot harder than Division 8 already. Nine to four in shots, four minutes time on attack to two minutes and 46 seconds. So we got to make sure we got to get that next goal right now. We cannot lose one right here. I have no idea what just happened. The game glitched out. I cannot put my goalie back into the net. Uh, I have no idea what just happened there. We give up this 2-1 goal, but I, I honestly don't know what happened. The goalie just randomly left the net. Must have been a weird glitch in this game, but he gets it in 2-1 goal. We gotta get that one back. Oh, come on. No! Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, three to one now. Oh, man, that's a bad second goal to give up. That's that's terrible. Yes! Oh, my goodness. How are you going to call that off? Oh, man, I've been trying so hard this period to score goals, and... Yeah, that looks like it's not going to count. Barkov just absolutely shoving his way in there. But, oh man, we have three minutes left to get a goal right now. He's basically just making me chase the puck right now. And, oh man, that would have been a really big goal to get us back in the game. Yeah, it's still 3-1. to one. we got three minutes left here. Can we get at least one goal in the next, like, minute or so? Oh my god. That is bad. We basically lost this game. The game winning goal to glitch in this game. Oh, that's really frustrating. Alright, but anyways, we end up with a loss there and we do have to remove a player off our team. So we do end up with 884 coins that game. We're 0-1-0 in Division 7. That's not how I want to start off a new division, but uh, let's take a look at the stats. 18 and 14 shots, 9 minutes time on attack to 8 minutes. So. It was pretty even, just I could not score any goals in that third period, just trying my absolute best to outskate him, but I just couldn't. Three stars, Keith Yandel, Peter Holland getting that first period goal, and then Roberto Luongo just absolutely lights out in that third. So, unfortunately, we do lose that game, we do lose a player, and we also don't get a pickup. So, unfortunately, we'll go do all that right now. I'll meet you guys there. Yeah, looking back at that play, I definitely should have taken the offside and then just put my goalie back in. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. He still got that second goal on me. So anyways, we're going to be choosing the position to be removed off our team. So we'll go ahead, copy and paste. And hopefully, it's not our first line right winger because we just picked him up. We're going to randomize and whatever's at the top is what we're going to be picking. And it's going to be first line right wing. What are the chances of that? Oh man, we just got a good pick up of James Neal and then we have to remove him as well. That is really unlucky, but we still have that rule where we can sell those players off so we can get those coins back and hopefully pick up another good player in the next episode of Hot Roulette. So anyways, I'll meet you guys back at the team. We'll remove James Neal off our team. Okay guys, so James Neal is now gone. I did put him up in the marketplace for about 4,800 coins, so starting next episode, I should have about 11,000 coins for the next pickup, so that'll be pretty exciting for the next video. Uh, but 
in the spot of James Neal, I put in Jason Palmville into that first line right wing spot. And I really think this first line needs a right-handed shot just to make it a little bit more dangerous. So I did put down Alexander Radulov down to the second, Michael Froelich down to the third, and moving back up Yannick Hansen from our collection into our fourth line right wing spot. So our team isn't looking too bad at all, starting for episode number six of Hut Roulette, but that's just about it, guys. Also, just want to let you guys know that I also will be posting out a lot of Hut Roulette episodes this week. So if you guys like the sound of that, make sure to leave a like. Let me know that you guys are enjoying the series so far. But that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I'm looking for you. I'm a Justin Buffett. And honestly, you really have to try him out for yourself. When he has that puck on the right wing spot, and you know, they have a left defender that's kind of small, like a Morgan Riley, or they have like Jake Gardner, or whatever small defenders they have, uh, usually Dustin Buffett does not get knocked down or give up a puck.